the title of the research that I'm doing is called Canonical Correlation for Cloud Classification. Basically, I'm taking image data from one satellite instrument. It comes in multiple channels, so say like infrared, visible, etc. I'm taking this data from this one satellite and using this process called canonical correlation analysis to relate it to information from another satellite that's considered to be the truth in meteorology. And the reason for doing this is because the one satellite is present all times over one specific reason whereas the truth satellite is only present four times per day as it's polar orbiting. Ideally, it would be good to have this truth information over a specific region for a time series so that you could continuously see what was happening over the region. And the problem with this is that the, the satellite that is positioned over that region at all times, it, it doesn't have all of the information necessary to create these truth products. And by doing this canonical correlation, we're hoping that we'll be able to develop something that is similar to the truth product. And so far, it's proven pretty successful. Part of the reason I came here is because I had two summer internships at NASA Langley Research Center. And while I was there, I did a lot of work with processing satellite data and understanding what it means in an engineering sense. And here at CSU, specifically working with Dr. Azimi, he does a lot of work with cloud processing and satellite information. And I really enjoyed it at NASA. So I figured coming here and working with him would be a really good way to keep doing that. Ideally, this research will help with defense applications for the United States government as uh, many of, of the unmanned vehicles and the self-guided missiles and, and things of this nature, they have to have tracking devices and oftentimes they're very weather dependent. And say an unmanned vehicle flies through an ice cloud or one particular kind of cloud and it can ice over and, and crash due to that. With a system like we're trying to develop, hopefully they'd be able to better track the motion of clouds and thereby avoid things like that. Colorado State has connection with CIRA, which is an um, atmospheric science research facility here. And lots of really, really intelligent people work there on atmospheric science. And they have really helped me to understand everything that's going on in these satellite images that I wouldn't have on my own. We go there about every two weeks to discuss things with them. Dr. Azimi is really good about like letting you get an idea settled into your head and then just go with it and check in to see how you are. But he's not a micromanager. So I really appreciate the freedom to explore different ideas and at the same time have him there to guide me on the right track. I think it, it really helps to have a broad-based understanding of more disciplines than just the one you're specialized in. And I appreciate the chance here to be able to learn about atmospheric science, even though my degree is going to be in electrical engineering. So I, I do think that'll help with my end goals to show that I'm, I'm able to do more than just one thing.